thought I should talk about Maya's message. So, Ben uh, Pickering's little niece, Maya, who I babysat for, died in May when her mother's car was overturned in the Owaka Bay. Maya had put a message out there on some kind of video platform that her friends had told authorities about where she filmed her mother speeding at dangerous speeds over 100 miles per hour in curvy bits of the highway out in Washington and Pacific County. Maya was someone I really believed in. I stood up for and I supported. I was so proud of her. She was very strong. She had seen a lot, but she was very conscious of doing the right thing. She wanted to help people she knew in her community that were being abused. She wanted to tell authorities. She wanted the authorities to do what was right. I really support her very much. It was very sad to lose her. Very sad that her mother died. She lost her best friend to incredible tool for youth empowerment, for investigating accidents and tragedies and crimes. And don't be afraid to embrace the power of truth where the truth may get out long after you're gone. So Maya's message from the bottom of the bay is don't be afraid to put your truth out there on the internet. I'm so proud of her. And I'm so sorry for the tragedies that were in their lives that may have led to that recklessness, fear, daring. And I was told this information by Kimberly, a different Kimberly, and I said, well, maybe the reason why I can't remember your name is because it reminds me of Kim Pickering. And she said, oh, she just passed away not too long ago. And I looked up the accidents and the articles. I even called over to Pacific County to see if I could find out more. And that was before I had found the article that referenced the videos that Maya had posted of her mom doing reckless speeding. I really cared for Kim. She started crying the first day she met me. She thought I was the best thing that had ever happened to her brother's life. And I know this has to be tremendously hard for him. One of my best friends from Nashville lost her sister in an accident about 28 years ago, and the pain is still fresh and never goes away. It's always hurt, but it does lighten or lessen a little bit the intensity as you learn to move on with your life, having lost someone in such tragic and devastating circumstances. And I feel like I've lost Kim Pickering, and I've lost Maya, too. And I miss them very much. So don't be afraid of Maya's message.